New York truckers say Governor Cuomo's quest for safety has gone too far. His proposed increase, his proposed budget includes a big increase in fines for truckers who drive on roads they're not supposed to be on. Citrus TV reporter Ricky Sayer introduces us to one of the many truck drivers on the road this week. Marty Forward has driven a lot of miles in a truck. Total miles? Uh, I'm going to say I'm real close to a million. <laughs> And before each time he gets behind the wheel, he makes sure to check everything over. If you have too much free play, that means you got something loose. He plays it by the rules, but that doesn't mean he's perfect. I was turning down a road and I didn't know it was a restricted road. It wasn't uh, posted. Here in central New York, one road where you'll find many restricted road signs is the Onondaga Lake Parkway. And above the road, 10 foot 9 to be exact, is a bridge which has been hit by overheight trucks seven times from 2016 to 2018. Governor Cuomo hoping to reduce bread strikes across the state by drastically increasing penalties. Under current rules, overheight truck drivers pay a $200 to $500 fine. But under the new rules proposed by Governor Cuomo, that number jumps to $5,000. Uh, well, it's, it's kind of a big burden on the driver, you know, if they have to be, have to pay these big fines, you know. New York Truckers Association Vice Chairman Steve Irwin calls the fines exorbitant. Drivers are not going to avoid a bridge because of a fine that's associated with it. For Irwin, the governor's proposal will impact the wrong people. Typically, uh, drivers hitting bridges are not familiar with the area. He sees a different solution. And as for the fines, Marty wants the state to go in a different direction. Everybody makes a mistake, you know, and I don't think you should have to pay $5,000 for your, your first mistake. Marty is now on his way to Jacksonville, a GPS keeping him out of a hefty fines way. Ricky Sayer, Citrus TV News.